Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been enjoying the content that I've been putting out here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So in today's video, we're going to talk about breakout rooms inside of WebEx Meeting Center. It's a newer feature. It's been released in the 40.9 version of WebEx. So if you're not on that version, you need to get on 40.9 first in order to get this to work. But let's dive into it. Let me show you guys what breakout rooms can do. Go ahead, send out all your WebEx invitations like you normally would do at the time to join the meeting. Obviously, everybody click on the meeting and you're going to get thrown into a normal WebEx meeting that everyone's used to. So right now I've got this meeting set up. It's myself, Beck, Dave, and Rivers. I can also take a look at the participants panel over here and I get to see myself, Beck, Dave, and Rivers all logged into this meeting. Now, to enable breakout sessions, what we need to do is go to the top, click on the breakout menu there, and select enable breakout sessions. That's going to bring up a new button here at the bottom called breakout sessions. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on breakout sessions. What's going to pop up here is a new window and it's going to say assign the three participants because there's three participants in the list here into how many breakout sessions. Maybe it's one because we just, we did, we, I just need to put these people in a room and the host or the professor or the teacher doesn't want to be in a room with all the students. They want, he wants them to talk freely amongst themselves. Or two, maybe I want to break these four people up half and half, two in one room, two in the other room. Or I can do three or four or five, you know, however many people you have uh, in your class that you want to break up into individual sessions here. For this example, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select two. I'm going to place two people in one room and two people in another room. And now I have the option of, do I want to do this automatically where WebEx just goes and says, hey, Dave and Rivers, you're going to be in one room and Sal and Beck, you're going to be in another room. I could do it that way, or I could do it manually where I go ahead and I drag and I drop and I select each person to, to go to each room. For the purpose of this example, we'll start with automatic just so you guys can see what that looks like, and then I'll show you how to move somebody to a different room. Click on automatic and then click create assignments. Once you're in here, now you could take a look that it put Beck and it put Rivers into breakout session one. The next to it there in the parentheses, that's the number two. That's basically showing that there's two people in this room, Beck and Rivers. And then breakout session two, there's only one person in this room. That's Dave. You can see I did not put myself in a breakout session yet because I am the host. If I would have said to do this manually, nobody would be in a breakout session and everybody would just be in this not assigned list here. And then it's up to you to go ahead and click on them and then move to session. And for myself, put myself in session two because it's only Dave in there. So when I click that, you can see there it puts myself and Dave into breakout session two. Now breakout session one, breakout session two, not too descriptive. So I can go in here and I can rename it. And let's say we're working on a math problem and session one is going to be working on problem one and session two is working on problem two. I can just say problem one and rename this to problem two. Pretty simple. Now, before we jump in here and I click this start breakout session button, there's a couple other things that we can do on here. One, I could add additional sessions. So if there's more people that are going to be coming in, I may want to add additional sessions here, or if I need to break this up a little bit differently, once I get into it, you have the option of adding more rooms there. I've got this settings button over here as well. Settings brings up a couple interesting points. So allow attendees to return to the main meeting. So we are in the main meeting right now. If I want to allow students or users to move back and forth, I have that checked. If I don't have that checked, it's up to the host or the co-host to move people in and out of the breakout rooms back to the main room. Uh, allow attendees to join breakout sessions later. I'll leave this checked so you guys can see this little pop-up window that, that pops up here. But basically, if I don't have this checked, you're going to be forced into that breakout room immediately. If I have it checked, 
you'll be in the in the main room still and you have to click the join button to go into the breakout room pretty useful if hey you know i just want to ask the teacher the professor a quick question before the breakout room you can do that and then okay i'm now i'm ready to go into that breakout room you have that option there another option here automatically close breakout session after x amount of minutes you can change that if you want to so hey guys i'm giving you 30 minutes work on this problem and then you're all gonna be dumped back into the main room. You can do that automatically. If you don't set that, then it's up to, to the host or the co-host to end the breakout sessions and bring everybody back. And then when we are going to end the sessions there, you get the 60 second timer there, the, the warning message before you're brought out. That way, if you're working on something, hey, yep, are we ready? Let's, let's put this together. Who's gonna to be the one that's gonna present, you know, the last minute types of stuff. You could change that here too. So if you want to do 10 seconds, 15 seconds, all the way up to 120 seconds, you could do. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the breakout session. Now there's that pop-up window that I was talking about. Breakout sessions have started. I can click join now or I can click join later. If I decide to join later, I'll stay in the main room here and I could always join later because there's a join button right at the top here above the participant list. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna click on join now. And right now I am in my breakout session. You could see it says you are currently connected to problem two session. And it's got a running timer at the top there. So, you, you know, if the teacher said, hey, 30 minutes, you have to work on this. You've got that clock right up there to take a look at. And right now, it's just me in here. Uh, I need to go, because this is a demo, I need to go add, manually add the other people in here. And then we'll show you what else you can do. So you guys can see that Dave decided to join me finally here. And it's myself and it's Dave. And now we've got the split window view, myself at the top and Dave on the bottom here. So again, we're in our breakout session. Now, me as the host, let's say this room is going really good. No problems here. Maybe I want to bounce in and out of different rooms. I can go back to my breakout window at the top here and go to breakout session assignments. Just a quick link back to over here. And I can say now, hey, I want to go ahead and I want to join problem one here that, that they're working on. <clears throat> Now you get again at the top here, connected to problem one session, and you can see myself, Rivers, and Beck all in this breakout room together. I can go to the breakout sessions again and click this button at the bottom here this time, again taking me to the same window here. And if I wanted to, I can go ahead and I can move back to a different room in the middle. So maybe back, man, this guy's got it. He's got it. He's got everything. He knows this math problem like the back of his hand. Hey, back, I need you to go help out Dave in, in problem two here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move you to problem two. And you can see that Dave gets kicked out of problem one here. And if I go ahead and I join problem two, you can take a look that it's myself, Dave, and it's, it's back here. So tons of control. Uh, tons of ways to control this stuff here for all for all your users. Another feature here that I'll talk about is at the top, I can click on breakout again, and I can now go ahead and I can broadcast a message. So I could say to all breakout sessions if I wanted to, or just a particular room here. And I could also broadcast out to the all the participants or maybe just the co-host. And if there's a presenter in one of the rooms, just those people will get this, this type of message. So keep it simple. I'll go ahead and I'll broadcast out. Hello. So that gets broadcasted out to the rooms. Let me grab one of the other users so you can see what that message actually looks like. So I just grabbed Beck here. I'm on Beck's computer right now and you can take a look at the message from the host and then there's that hello message. We could dismiss it by clicking the OK button there. Useful if, hey, I'm gonna end this early, looks like you guys are doing good, or just a reminder, hey, there's five minutes left in here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK there. Back to the host view here, I can go also up to the top and I can go ahead and I can say leave breakout session. I could also do that from the bottom here and say leave session. And that's gonna put me as the host 
back inside the main meeting. And I can click on the main meeting here in the participants panel and I can take a look at if there's anybody else in this main meeting area too. If I click back on breakout sessions, I can take a look at who's in breakout sessions here. I have the nice join button if I want to join one of these. You know, I assign myself to two. That's why the join button at the top here says two for me. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could join back into one. I could just hit join right there. And now it's going to put me back in session one here with Rivers. And the last thing over here is, so if I want to end the breakout sessions, I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to say end all breakout sessions. Go ahead and click that button. Click on end sessions. Now we get that warning message. So that warning message is the one that we set with that 60 second countdown there. I'll go ahead and click OK. When I do that, you'll see two at the top right here. That green that it was green previously now turns into like this yellowish, yellowish, orangish color here. Kind of like a warning. Hey, the session's going to end in 50 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever's left. Wrap up your work. You're going to be automatically put back into the main meeting after this is done. So guys, this is this is a phenomenal feature. Like I had a lot of fun learning about this feature, a lot of fun making this. I think there's a ton of different use cases out there for all verticals to really utilize this feature. If anyone has any comments, I'd love to know your thoughts around this. Post them in the comments section below. We can have a conversation about them. If you have any questions, post them down below too, and I'll get back to you on all that. Um, and thanks a lot guys for always watching. And again, if you like this type of stuff, Give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.